Hello, welcome to this video. We're looking at the new version of Google Sites and we're going to go through and look at how you can add a header image and how you can add buttons in the form of uh, to add some navigation to your website. So first off we're going to go and create some buttons. So the site I like to use for creating my buttons is Canva. So that's canva.com. So we're going to pop to canva.com and at the top we're going to use custom dimensions and then I'd suggest 200 by 133 pixels and then hit design and if you're not familiar with Canva it's a very quick graphic design tool that works by drag and drop so we've got our button size now we can choose a background color and we can use one of the default palettes or patterns so let's go with that for the moment and then what's nice is we can then go to our text tool and choose some text so we could go with one of these free templates so we could just choose normal text so we've got it there and then it's very easy to edit the text and having got one that we like we can duplicate it and we can then make a derivative so we can change the background color to one of these or we can add another color and we can enter in the hash code to get exactly the type of color we want oh it's a bit garish isn't it there we are that'll do um, and again we can duplicate that we could alter the text again and we'll do one more and again we're just going to change the color but you could also alter the text as well so we'll change the color okay so when we've done that we hit download and we want to download them as a png and we want to do all of the files and hit download so it's going to download a zip for us so we'll just wait for it to download the zip Just move it out of the way and we'll just find that zip file. Where has it gone? There it is. So we'll drag that to the desktop and double click on it. So we've now got the folder with our buttons in. So we're going to go back to the website and we can use the image upload function. So it's up here in the top right corner. We can then select files from the computer. There's my folder which I've just downloaded from the images I created in Canva. I can select the buttons and click open. And what's nice is it will upload, you can upload multiple files in one go. and it will insert them all and then what's really easy to do is you can just start to drag and drop them so it's going to return them back to their normal size and we can move them around and it brings up these guides so you can see as we move the images around we have these line line guides that are available to us now compared to the previous version one disadvantage is it doesn't return the image to original size so it lets you scale them which is fine to a point but potentially could result in you having an image bigger than it actually was originally so it could lose a bit of quality so you can see they're all out of slightly out of proportion as well um, but you can keep going as you see we can slowly we're getting there now we're starting to get something that looks a bit more like what we we originally created and there we are and you can see we've now got three buttons exactly the same we can then look to create some pages so we can add a couple of extra pages and we can add another page and 
third page. So we've got our three pages. We're going to go back to home. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the, the button. It brings up various options. We can crop the image. We can uncrop the image. We can add a link. We can delete. And we've got replace the image or add alt text. So let's add a link. And we can choose, we want that to go to page one and apply. And we do the same with the others. Click on the link, James two and apply. And the same with number three. James 3 and apply. So very quickly we've managed to add some buttons that we've created in Canva. We've added links to those um, so we've got two means of navigating to the next site. So I hope you found that useful. Join me again